Welcome to Preparing for the Unexpected. I'm your host, Alex Fullick. Today, I want to talk about something that I came across that people are having some challenges with, and that's presenting, either at a conference or on a WebEx or in front of their executives in the boardroom, uh, anything, their team, having challenges on how to get their ideas across. So I thought I'd talk about something that uh, I wrote years ago, actually, and uh, came across the other day. And that's how to prepare for some of these presentations. So I thought I'd give you a few tips on how to do that so you are prepared for your conference presentation or your boardroom presentation or stand up at a lunch and learn and say what you want to say. So here's a few tips for you. The first one is obviously prepare. Get prepared. Know where you're going to be speaking, how you're going to be speaking, your topic, the topic details, how you're going to present PowerPoints, uh, flashcards, or just stand there and talk in front of people. Do your preparation, get organized and know what you're going to do up front. And if you're not sure, ask those maybe who are in charge, maybe the people that have called the meeting or the conference organizers and find out what works best for them. And find out so that you are prepared. If people are expecting you to stand up in front of an audience and you show up wearing a t-shirt and a couple of cards in your hand, well, doesn't look like you're gonna be prepared, are you? Next is know your audience. If you're speaking with the board of directors or your C-suite team, you're gonna have one way of presenting and the content is gonna be different. If you're talking with your team, you can probably get more detailed on topics. Understand your audience. And that also comes down to another tip is your content as well. Some of these people are going to be visual thinkers. So if you have PowerPoint slides, have some pictures in there, diagrams or something that depicts your message, but also have some verbiage in there because some people like to see the verbiage and read the verbiage, understand the verbiage. Looking at pictures to them is, well, that doesn't mean anything to me. While others people may look at the pictures and go, well, that makes more sense. Now I get it. So understand the audience, understand how to present that information and use both visual stimulation and verbal stimulation. And you can point to pictures, you can point to your verbiage, but make sure that if you are using uh, verbiage, that it's not paragraphs and tons of sentences stuck on a, on a, uh, on a screen or a PowerPoint. With me, I only like to see a couple of words, a couple of bullet points. If there's too much verbiage, then really I want the speaker to, well, shut up. Let me read the slide. You know, if you want me to listen to you, don't put so much verbiage on a slide. It doesn't mean anything. Quantity doesn't mean quality. The next is, uh, you know, tell stories if you can. Real stories. Sometimes, depending on where you are, sometimes personal stories work really well. They work well when you're speaking at a conference or a webinar, um, using your own personal stories that relate to the topic you're talking about. In an office, sometimes personal experiences won't matter. The CEO, CIO, my director, my manager doesn't care about a story I had at home uh, with my dog or my neighbor. Who cares? But the stories I may be able to tell that are real life coming from a competitor or somebody else in our industry, uh, something that they can relate to, those are good stories. Those will help get your point across, but you gotta make those stories applicable to what your topic is. Don't talk, I, know I can't talk about my dog if I'm talking about disaster recovery. Yeah, it's a big stretch to try and get those two together. Finally, I wanna say, be yourself. Don't try to be somebody else. Don't try to be another speaker. Don't try to be a colleague. Don't try to be anyone else other than you. Be authentic. You know, if you talk, uh, you know, a certain way, continue that. Don't change who you are. I've run into people, talk to them offline and find out we're laughing and joking about things. Then all of a sudden we're on a conference call or we're on a webinar or we're at a conference or talking in the hallway and they're a completely different person. Just be yourself. 
It's the easiest thing in the world to do. Just be yourself. Speak the way you normally do. Don't suddenly uh, you know, speak in 10 syllable words when you don't normally do that anyway. I don't, so I don't even try. What's the point? I would look goofy if I tried to say anything other than who I am and present myself the way I am. It's easy and less stress for me, that's for sure. But then at the same time, those I'm speaking to understand that I'm hearing from Alex, the person I see, the person I know, the person I work with, whatever the case may be, rather than I'm hearing from Alex, someone who is completely different. They don't normally act that way. And then if I am acting differently, then that could have people questioning when I'm trying to convey a key idea. I don't sound authentic. I don't sound real. I don't sound like me. So there's a few tips for you. Uh, hopefully they help. We all, at some point, have to talk to our teams, uh, even if we're not a manager or director or vice president. It doesn't matter. At some point, we're going to be presenting something to somebody, even if it's to, uh, to our manager and to the rest of our team, something that we're doing. And that still makes us uncomfortable. So it doesn't matter who you are, where you are in the organization, or what you do. At some point, we're going to be saying something. So hopefully these tips help you and uh, you enjoy your experience like I do. In the meantime, stay prepared, everybody. If you like that video, thumbs up. If you didn't like that video, thumbs down. But leave me a message and let me know your thoughts. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And in the meantime, stay prepared, everybody.